the Gordian knot that only Alexander the Great could untie? Well, we're here at the Earth Sciences Building at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center to talk to Earth scientists who will be visiting the archaeological site in central Turkey. How's NASA helping with archaeology, you ask? Well, using NASA's spin-off technology, the scientists will employ ground-penetrating radar and satellite imagery to help them with this excavation. Radar technology has been used for many things. It started when, in some military work before the Second World War. And then since then, it's been used for all kinds of things, like catching speeders. You're walking along, you can look at a display on this box you have sort of right here to make sure that everything is on scale and you're properly calibrated and you're recording good data. So if you're using a higher frequency antenna, then the box you pull along is smaller. If you're using a lower frequency antenna, then the box is bigger. And the advantage of a lower frequency antenna is this will penetrate further down on the ground and then you get the signal back. Now we also use Landsat data in our studies because one of the first things we need to do in any study is to have data which we can use as a mapping basis. And Landsat data are a great way to start. So we usually start with Landsat data and now we're using data from Myconis or QuickBird or RapidEye some of these new commercial satellites where the smallest area they see is about one meter or maybe 60 or 70 centimeters. So we get those data and then we use global positioning system devices to fix a few points and then we attach those points or associate those points with the satellite image. As they dig and as they work down they destroy what's above. So this is a way then to, rec to recreate and understand what's been done before and how it all relates. So that's really important. It sounds really simple, but sometimes simple things are extremely important to do, and this is a good example of that.